Everybody, we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite late bird, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill was late once again, y'all, this time for a concert in France. After arriving two hours later than scheduled, she had the nerve to only perform for 30 minutes. Now, that's not even half of it. Now, the night before, she was late to her show in Belgium. Now, back in 2016, she had wrote a short essay explaining why exactly she's always late. And it reads, because I care so deeply about the artistic process, I scrutinize, have perfectionist tendencies, and want space made for the spontaneity, which is not an easy process with the money, with the what is it? With the many moving parts on the road. Now, Lauren Hill was late for a concert back in 2014. And then after being late for this concert, she turned around and lectured her fans on respect. Even told them that they could get up and leave because it's not going to stop her money. Um, in 2017, she was three hours late to a concert. Then in, two, in July of this year, she was late to a show in Toronto, an hour late, and she only performed for 45 minutes. Now, I love Lauryn Hill. I'm a huge Lauryn Hill fan. You know, I grew up off of Lauryn Hill from back in the 90s, but girl, I have to just say what is in my heart and in my heart I feel as though she should treat her fans a lot better I understand sometimes you might have sound problems and you want to make sure everything is perfect but if people then promoted you saying that you're going to perform somewhere and people then bought the ticket and they're waiting on you then you need to be there on time Okay, and you need to perform for these people. Stop disrespecting your fans because if you keep on, people are not going to want to book you. Okay? You have to do better, Lauren. You have to do better. You are an icon. Okay? I don't know if you feel like because you're an icon, you have... You know, you you can be late, but no, boo. People are getting tired, and sooner or later, nobody's going to want to buy your ticket. Nobody's going to want to book you for shows. And promoters might not even promote you that good because they're thinking you're going to be late anyway. So, like, what's the big deal? Let me know what you guys think down below. Would y'all purchase a ticket for a Lauryn Hill concert? Thank you guys. If you love this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I thank you, loves. See you next time. But he just kept right on strumming my pain with his fingers. One time.